Okay, so we're told that the kinetic energy of an electron is equal to 100 mega electron volts and we're asked to find its speed, first of all using the equation k is equal to a half mv squared. Okay, so v squared is equal to 2 times k on m, so we can substitute in here. 2k we're told is 100 mega electron volts. So that's 100 times 10 to the 6. This is to account for the mega. And then to get it into joules, we multiply it by the charge on an electron. 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. And then we need to divide by the mass. And in this case, it's an electron. So it's got a mass of 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31. So we solve this and we get 3.517 times 10 to the 19. And this is the velocity squared. So we take the square root and we end up with the velocity is equal to 5.93 times 10 to the 9 meters per second. Now, clearly, this can't be the velocity of the electron because this velocity is greater than the speed of light. So this tells us that this is a relativistic electron. Now, for relativistic particles, we need to use our relativistic kinetic energy equation, which you learned about previously. And so the relativistic kinetic energy is given by the equation k is equal to mc squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared minus mc squared. So we would need to use this equation and solve for v. So let's have a go at doing that. We can say this is equal to mc squared over 1 over, over the square root 1 minus v squared on c squared minus 1 is equal to k. And so this is k over mc squared is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared minus 1. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared is equal to k over mc squared plus 1 and we can write this one here as mc squared on mc squared so this is equal to k plus mc squared all over mc squared which now lets us invert these two sides so we've got the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared is equal to mc squared over k plus mc squared and now we want to square everything, so we've got 1 minus v squared on c squared is equal to m squared c to the 4 over k plus mc squared squared. And so v squared on c squared is equal to 1 minus m squared c to the 4 over k plus mc squared squared. Now, I think it was much easier to rearrange this before we started substituting in. But now we're at a point where we can actually substitute in because we know K is 100 mega electron volts, M is the mass of the electron. So to substitute in, let's just take it step by step. Let's start by working out what K plus MC squared is. So that's just equal to 100 mega electron volts. So times 10 to the 6 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 plus mc squared so 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 times 3 times 10 to the 8 squared so solving this on the calculator we get 1.61 times 10 to the minus 11 and now I think we're ready to substitute into this full expression. So we've got v squared on c squared is equal to 1 minus m squared. So this is 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 squared times c to the 4. So that's 3.00 times 10 to the 8 to the power of 4 divided by this thing, which is what we've worked out here. So 1.61 times 10 to the minus 11, and that's squared. And then solving this on the calculator, we end up with 0 0.99997. And so taking the square root of this, we end up with V is equal to 
0.99987C. And so you can see this is indeed relativistic. It's almost traveling at exactly the speed of light.